Considering a quick hitch for your 1.5 ton mini excavator, but unsure whether to go with a manual or hydraulic quick hitch, continue watching this video as we compare the pros and cons of both. There are five key aspects that you need to consider when choosing between a manual or hydraulic quick hitch. These are best uses, hitch weight, health and safety, maintenance, and overall cost. Let's start with number one. When are they best used? Manual hitches are manually operated, as the name suggests. So machine operators have to get out the cab to unlock and lock the hitch onto your attachments or buckets. Hydraulic hitches, on the other hand, are operated within the cab, meaning that you can quickly unlock and lock your hitch without getting out of the machine. If you need to regularly change your buckets or attachments, say, every 30 minutes, then maybe the hydraulic quick coupler is the best option for you. For fast paced jobs, eliminating the need to get out your cab to change your buckets or attachments minimizes on downtime, meaning you can complete your jobs quicker and more efficiently. However, if you're looking to change your attachments every say two hours or two days, then maybe the manual quick hitch is the best option for you. Although you are still getting out of the cab to change your buckets, using a quick hitch is a lot quicker and more efficient than changing your buckets by knocking out the pins, ultimately saving you time and effort and maybe a bad back. So that brings us on to number two, which is hitch weight. Hitch weight is an important consideration to think about when using a 1.5 ton mini excavator because a small difference in weight can mean a lot of difference in operating power. Although hitch manufacturers do try to keep the weight to a minimum, the weight does have an effect on the overall performance of the machine. Manual hitches are generally considered to be lighter than hydraulic hitches because of the additional components that hydraulic hitches have, such as hydraulic cylinders and check valves. However, this can vary when you compare hitches that are cast steel rather than welded. In Rhinox's case, this means that generally speaking, the hydraulic hitch can be lighter than the manual hitch. This is because when we cast our hitches, this means we can remove unnecessary weight in the design and also create a smaller compact unit. A lighter quick hitch will perform more effectively with a lifting capacity than a heavier hitch. In terms of digging power, both hitches will cause a slight reduction in the breakout force. This is because they add length to the end of the dipper arm. The difference in breakout force between a manual and hydraulic quick hitch will come down to how tall either of the quick hitches are. A taller hitch will mean that less force is applied into the ground. Height and weight does vary between manufacturers, so it is important that you take this into consideration when choosing your 1.5 ton quick hitch. Moving on to health and safety, which is our third point, both hitches can help reduce the risk of injury on site by eliminating the need to manually handle your buckets and attachments by hitting the pins in and out of your bucket. Hydraulic hitches further reduce the risks on site as they allow you to change your buckets and attachments without leaving your canopy or your cab. On busy job sites, staying in your machine as much as possible helps avoid the potential accidents like materials falling. Our fourth point brings us on to another important factor to consider, which is maintenance. With a manual quick hitch being a simpler design, the upkeep needed is minimal, which is mainly needing to grease the latch and remove any wanted debris from your hitch before use. Whereas hydraulic hitches require daily checks and maintenance to make sure that any of the key components such as the seals or pipes don't fail on site. When purchasing a hydraulic hitch, Having some knowledge of hydraulics and electrics means that you'll be able to identify potential problems quicker. However, this is not essential. Mobile hydraulic specialists are readily available as and when you need them. And finally, one of the main deciding factors is the cost. Overall, the 1.5 ton manual quick hitches generally have a smaller upfront cost because of the simpler design and less moving components. As just mentioned, manual quick hitches have less maintenance expenses going forwards, making them a budget friendly option. In comparison, a hydraulic quick hitch has a higher upfront cost, which is usually three to four times that of a manual quick hitch. This is due to the more complex components and moving 
parts. Combined with the increased chance of maintenance expenses, this means the overall cost will increase over time. So in summary, which one is best for you? Choose a manual quick hitch if you are on a smaller budget and or need a simple, low cost, low maintenance option to change your buckets. Or choose a hydraulic quick hitch if you have a bigger budget and you work in a faster paced environment where more frequent bucket changes are needed. If you want to know more about Rhinox's range of quick hitches, check out the playlist here and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on another video hi this are really really or or, or. <laughs> this isn't a said chore